From tragedy often come stories of heroism. Tonight, we're learning about one such story thanks to the efforts of some young people. Michael Honkamp is accused of killing his co-worker, Maria Lucas, Monday at the Maryland Heights Community Center. Some young lifeguards helped lead dozens to safety. Only News 4's Russell Kinsall has their story. None of them was concerned with themselves. They were concerned with everybody else. They were brave. Maya Fur is praising the response of her fellow lifeguards. She says they heard two gunshots and then a barrage of 10 more. Most people didn't know what to do, but she says the lifeguards training kicked in. After the first shot, they were trying to leave. There were some people like the swim lessons kids. I made sure that I grabbed them. Fur says there were five other lifeguards on duty and about 30 people in the pool area, including a few children. They were asking questions of like, am I, am I going to die or are we going to get shot? And I just, I was like, no, I was like, just breathe. Everybody breathe. Fur says that she and other lifeguards gathered everyone in an office and decided against hiding because the shooter might find them. So I just wanted to get out and get everybody out. So Fur says that she and the lifeguards had everyone run out an emergency exit and then to a nearby house. She said she heard the victim, Maria Lucas, arguing with someone before the gunshots. She would talk to me sometimes if I had, you know, I'd come in looking down or sad. She's like, we don't have that here. Smile, you know. She's very nice. Fur says it'll be hard to go back to work after the traumatic experience, but the lifeguards are supporting one another. We went all back up there yesterday to talk to each other and see how everything is going to be. It's definitely a life changing experience. We're all going to be a little different. Despite their young age, Fur says that she and the other lifeguards knew they had to rescue the others. That's what basically I, I did and basically they did as well. That's what we're trained to do as lifeguards. Russell Kinsall, News 4.